Moshi Moshi Miami Games and welcome back to Xanthus Song Zero. Belle seems to have sent to talk to me, ask her for details. Today we're doing chapter 4. We're gonna try the new character, Caesar. Not gonna lie, the name Caesar must look from that one. Character from JoJo Bizarre Picture. Perfect black is triggered when an enemy attack just after you have activate XE special attack. Pair with control, counter or perform a shield strike to trigger a twat. This will block the incoming attack damage and cannot work shield strike. Press special attack after allowing you to activate EX special attack. Put power and shield bars without consuming any energy. Interrupt. During the activation of the enemy skills, hitting enemies with the entire interruption will occur in action. Uh, so do I press E? I'll take you. I'll take you. Not even close. <laughs> yes. Hey, there you go. I was trying to do that. Hit me again. Okay. Let's do it twice. Oh, that's amazing. Once you activate the expert attack, pair counter, a chain cat, or ultimately awesome, should get to all members of shield when it's angels. While uh, waiting at angels is activate, the shield holder's attack and anti level level will be increased. So, okay, so I'll attack. take you. Yeah. Best once. Uh, while angel will present the shield, it is a time to move over the piece. Yeah. Uh, I'll take you. Yeah. That? One time? There you go. When assist points are suffered, hold base attacks to launch base attacks dead air and consume one assist point. Caesar's throw her shield to attack strong enemies and pull solid enemies closer. Can I do that earlier? Watch your all, Caesar. One step further! The very bouncy! Make sure that's an interesting. Go to kill selections and you be bell this whole time. Pony John, what are you doing, the world? Oh, yes, boy. Uh, hey, uh, uh, what? What are you doing here? Walking away as if I totally heard nothing. Anyways, back to looking at Jane Doan, boy. Okay, Bell, what's up? Thank you, otherwise, as the show stuff would just contact us. He said he's going to be around 6 6 50 for what he wants to meet. Is it about a request? Yeah, we asked him to help us scoop our commission in the auto ring so we could track down Fellman. Maybe he found something. Got time to be in Malmois? Sure, let's go. Alright, let's confirm. Good thing the store is pre it now. I'll close the max on the stream by. Okay, I'm not alone. So I walk into the store. My old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? Not too bad, thanks to you. Of course, things would be even better if you could get us the business we need. Oh, dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. Hmm. Uh, seems like you got bad news. Seems you don't have any good news for us today. Please, hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. The city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed recently, and most clients have given up on doing business in the city for now. Even if you find someone willing to risk it, those small fry definitely won't have what you're looking for so you passed up on my valuable commission to do business in the outer ring you're looking for a reliable source of intel right hmm. you do know us well it seems you know us all too well shepherd well we've been partners for a while now don't worry i don't need to know the details though i don't have any business for you i didn't come here for nothing here's my two denny's if you're looking for information, try to get in with the Outer Ring biker gangs. Biker gangs? The people of the Outer Ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing about it. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business, so this is all the help I can offer you. <clears throat> Well, that's all I have to say. I'll let you get back to your business. If you change your mind and want to make some easy money in the near future, feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks. We'll think about it. See ya! And even though we got some useful intelligence... We got a useful piece of intel, but it definitely won't make finding Pearlman any easier. We have no other choice. The Outer Ring is completely out of our scope of operations. Speaking of which... Finding intel on Pearlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Even Fairy hasn't been able to find any useful leads. Wise. Don't you think this whole thing is strange? Hmm. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. The Outer Ring's huge, 
but for one person to survive there, it would be impossible to stay completely off the grid. Exactly. Perlman's escape caused quite a stir, and public security is looking for him. You'd think there'd be all kinds of intel on him by now. How does a living, breathing person disappear into thin air? Hmm, who knows? A day earlier, it's not a lot of the airship hijacking into some of the other wing old oil field district. I said I give up! You win! <laughs> that Caesar's with <laughs> no, the heels. That's more like it, old man. If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the effort. All right, any other challengers? Anyone else? Big Daddy, we got the Spark Stone! Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torrid Inferno. We, the sons of Caladon, are the strongest. This time I'm gonna swipe while the iron's hot and seize the Overlord's throne. <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot. <laughs> the Overlord's throne, huh? Caesar, well, my opinion hasn't changed. Since you've earned the right, go test the waters. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport business. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! What the call of that? <laughs> Sounds oh, kind of confused. It's an airship! This is the first time I've seen one up close. Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over here. It's such a serious accident. This guy's lucky to be alive. Oh, it's him. I feel like I've seen this face before. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. So much money! Enough to drink nitro fuel like water oh for the God. next 30 Bunny years! Hippies. Enough to buy Bunny five Sunday. steel tusks? <sighs> public security sure is generous. Public security? No! Don't hand me over to public security! I'm begging you! I, I know who the real mastermind is! I have evidence of their crimes! Evidence! Stuck on his face like, hell no. At this time, it's like I'm playing. To be honest, I'm starting to doubt if Perlman is even still alive. We can still rely on hand for the sacrifice investigation, but the Cunning Hairs' lawsuit won't be on hold like this forever, will it? Master, second assistant, there is an incoming call from Billy. Should I connect the call for you? Speak of the devil. Fairy, put the call through. Oh, manager, you're home! I just sent you a message, but you didn't reply. Hmm. Bill and I are both here. What's up? We're both here. What's up, Billy? Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I'd prefer to do it face to face. I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Can you meet me there? Billy, that's not far away. Why don't you just come to the store? Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving won't fit through. Uh, wait. A public security officer is coming over. I gotta talk to them real quick. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. What? What is Billy talking about? Is the Jane Cunning Hairs usually park their car in our parking lot, don't they? But yeah. since you said so, Wise, you should go meet him. Okay, sis, I'm going. Okay, what does Billy want? What is this off? Oh my god, it's the, it's the new, um... What's it called again? The new bamboo! Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Who is this manager, dude? Uh, me. Anyways, hi, Billy. Oh, manager! That was quick! Uh, wait, did you strike the it switch? Billy? Did you get rich? Not only a new truck, but also a new look for a million? <laughs> Manager, that's impossible. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but basically, the truck and the bangboo both belong to an outer ring biker gang called the Sons of Caledon. The oh, truck yeah, has the a new Aradu entry pass, and recently, non residents have had to queue for a long time to get in and out of the city. So I'm helping them transport goods. After all, I used to work for them. Hmm. I didn't know you spent time in the Outer Ring. I didn't know you've spent time in the Outer Ring. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the Outer Ring for a while. It was a stroke of luck that eventually brought me to the city. Manager, we can chat about this later. I have something important to tell you. The Sons of Caledon have intel on Perlman. Hmm. Is this info reliable? Is it credible? It's solid. 
Their second in command told me personally, Manager, the Sons of Caladon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want to talk business with Faith and face to face. Hmm. They want to be proxy? You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but that's my guess, Manager. Though we really need Pearlman for the case we're handling. Nicole said we owe you. So you have the final say on who to work with. Anyway, I'll be helping the Sons of Caladon upgrade their Bang Boo and purchase supplies in the city over the next few days. And then I'll head out to meet them. If you want to meet them face to face, you should come with me. Yeah, no big deal, Billy. I'll come with you. Hey, Bell, we stay on the Um, this is okay, honey chat. Why is your back? What did Billy want to talk about? You tell Bell what just happened. The Sons of Caladon. One of the Outer Ring biker gangs has info on Pearlman, but they want to talk business face to face. Wise, what do you think? Hmm. Finally, we have a clue. We finally have a lead on Pearlman. There's no way we can pass this up. And Shepard said these people in the Outer Ring are really in the know. Right, but they want you to go to the Outer Ring in person. There are too many unknowns. Hmm. Um, Billy will be there. Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so they must get along well. <sighs> All right, I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction, and proxies can operate there unrestricted. So we don't have to worry about anyone finding out that we're Faithen. Wise, you should spend the next couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any loose ends. Um, I want to help. I'll contemplate and tell him about decision-wise. Are you awesome for adventure? Yes, I'm ready whenever. All right. You are a crazy helper, guys. Looks like we're just waiting for Billy now. Soon a day of departure arrives. You're heading out to Elwing Billy today, guys. Have a safe journey. You should go meet Billy at the Easter spot. While I don't have any smart device that can use it, other in the city, Faye and I will keep an eye on you both. Okay. There you are, manager. Let's hit the world. Elwing, here I come. Okay, let's go. Chapter 4 Toy the Inferno. Did they spell it right? I hope they did. Not long later, on a high on the outer wing. Whoa, it stretches on forever. What do you think, manager? The outer ring scenery is pretty nice, right? It's also super fun to drive here. But there's some ethereal activities but nearby. This road is too close to a hollow, and there are so many other hollows around. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. The outer ring lacks ether technology, making it hard to eliminate hollows. They can't even mine ether resources. Hey, you see that big guy over there? Big guy? That machinery. Is it an oil pump? Oh, you're good. This area is called the Old Oil Field. The residents here still rely on petroleum for their livelihoods. Wait, wait, wait! What's going on? What's up with that truck? Why is it coming towards us? Wait a minute, we're gonna crash! Billy, turn right! Drive into the hollow! We don't got a choice. <sighs> the fuck was that, dude? Oh my, oh my. Interesting. They actually drove into the hollow. And here I thought I'd oh, get we... to see some explosive carnage. Are we gonna see those people to fight against? Lord Lucius, I did what you asked. Please spare me. Please spare me. Although the sons of Caladon meeting their end in a hollow only earns a 61 from me. I'll let it slide this time, considering your hard work. I hope that in the future, you'll remember this lesson and stop meddling in things that you shouldn't. The second in command of the Vanquishers colluding with an ether corporation in the city? That's not a joke you should make lightly. Oh my goodness, so where are we now? Manager! Manager! Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine, don't worry. I'm fine, Billy. Don't worry. <sighs> That's good. You hit your head on my arm just now. It made a really loud sound. That oil tanker heading straight for us was terrifying. We only made it thanks to your quick thinking. And the vehicle isn't totaled. But we've fallen into a hollow now. What's our next move? Hmm. Uh, before we fall into the hollow, I sent him just to Belle. Just before we fell into the hollow, I sent a distress signal to Belle. She'll find a way to help us from the outside. That's great! It's a relief to hear that. Right. Manager, both of you have a special condition that means you can't be in the hollow for too long, right? Don't worry. 
There's anti-corruption serum in the truck that I helped buy, as well as some discarded hollow data piles from the city. Billy, it looks like you had to way out. Billy, way out. That's how we escape from the hollow. There must be a carrot in the sons of Caledon's Bangboo. Plus the new data from the data piles. Oh, that's right! You're a proxy! You can calculate a path out of the hollow! No, no, dude. Alright! Let's get to work installing the data piles! Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm Billy! I was confused for a second. Oh, is that vice walking? I forgot I'm Billy. Damn. Let's go, manager. I've got the data piles. I haven't played as Billy okay. for a while, Installing actually. Three should be enough. Okay, so we're gonna defend this while we've got ethereals. This is how I kill, okay? Don't worry, so, what manager. What are you doing, Gangu? Is that a motorcycle? Yeah. Oh, wow! Okay, it makes sense why Billy is useful with the son of Cow. Look at the jacket. That is something I never noticed or realized in the same time. Okay, we're okay, doing good so far. Who's next? Oh, so it's all the deals came from the Billy? Okay, okay, I see how it is. Piling. Piling. Go ahead. Yeah. And we're done. Success. We go that way. Got one installed. Manager, let's go to the next location. Careful. Go the way, you fools. Next location. Good bear. More ethereals. And they seem tougher than the last one. Top of my ass. Manager, find some place safe to take cover. Hi, corner oh, no, Billy, I'm good. Alright, it's a car kill, but this is fine. I've keep got firing. plenty of bullets! Keep firing. Yeah, keep firing. Okay, yes. Keep firing. Oh my goodness, ran him over. Okay, next. I'm gonna go on this all no, Let's go, sir! I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Actually, I'm not gonna go all I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Hey, your phone exploded. Who's next? Anyone? No? Oh, now he press E. Alright, just one data pile left. Let's move! Just one more? Oh my gosh, look at this area. Is that you? Manager, I'll take care of these guys in no time. How are you holding up? Oh, good. I can manage. Did you hear that? Yeah, we're back. Come back. Um, heal what? Try this! I've got plenty of bullets! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that a bullet sound here in the distance? Never mind. Oh my god, is that. Is that demonic? Ethereal! Uh oh, it's a big guy! Let's go back to the car and get out of here. You can do it, manager! You're almost there! I'm really not built for this level of activity! Come on, dude. I'll just sit down. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell is that, Billy? I mean, he's goofy. Caesar! Fix this! It's been a hot minute, little bro. Oh, so this is the proxy I've heard so much about. Help us, Caesar! Look at this! <laughs> That's lighter. Come on, brother. You've gone a bit rusty. What is that voice? <laughs> Is that the only boy? All right, here we go. It's time to shine. Why do you bounce like that, damn? I don't have to read this. I already know this from doing child, a child too. Right, Let's get to it. Let's see. Show me what you got, boy. No, ten rounds, damn. Oh, you really must be feeling confident today. 
Uh, <laughs> just that I can't get a reimbursement on anything over 10. Huh? Now we're talking. Let's clear him out. Let's finish it up. Don't worry. Everyone will get their share. Nice, Billy. <laughs> that was a close call, little bro. If we'd been a few seconds later, you would have been chomped to pieces by Ethereals already. Don't worry, big sis. I made out of tough enough stuff to hold out. <laughs> Brother, you had nowhere to run, but you've still got a mouth on you. Lighter, you just don't know me well enough. My body is made out of enhanced materials now. Forget about ethereals. Even Nicole wouldn't dare hit me barehanded. <sighs> It seems like Nicole is pretty high up on the pecking order. It seems that Nicole is pretty high up on the pecking order. So, big sis, lighter, how did you end up here? Oh, I got a strange call earlier from a young girl. She was all panicked and said you fell into this hollow. So it was the deputy manager. Lucy thought it might be a trick, but the intel she gave about you was flawless. And she even laid out a rescue route. Oh, so this is the legendary proxy, huh? Who'd have thought? Thank you, it's obviously see your timely assistance. Thanks. You arrived just in time. <sighs> Guys? I passed out! Hey, proxy! What's wrong? Manager! Manager! Stay with me! Quick! We gotta get out of here! Uh-oh. I passed out. Time has actually lost conscious in Blaze Blazewood. Am I fine? <laughs> Why is the flowers? I'm not dead! I have to take some of the blame for this accident as well. He's okay! <sighs> Chill out! We, the sons of Caledon, must honor our guests with the finest funeral! We are not dead! Lighter, you will be carrying the coffin. That's a heavy responsibility. I'm not dead, hello? We'll need to keep the hearse driving steady. Piper! Got it. I'll make sure it's a smooth send off. Bernice! Of course, you'll be handling the cremation. You got it! Just gotta burn everything to ash. Oh my god, I love Bernice. See, I'm fine! Lucy! L Lucy? Can you all stop goofing around? Don't be upset. It's not every day we get to have fun with the cremation ceremony. I'm alive. You don't have fun at our guest expense! Bernice! Put away the flamethrower now! How are you feeling? Are you hurt? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, we got a little carried away. Welcome to the outer ring. May you rise from the ashes. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love this. After a short while. Nathan, who would have thought you'd both end up here all because of an accident? Must have scared you back then, huh? <laughs> Relax. You two and Billy are thick as thieves. So that makes us friends. Uh, why? We've been the same boat for a long time. Ah, uh, yeah, right. We've been partners in crime for a while now. Time for a formal introduction. We're the Sons of Caledon, a biker gang from the Outer Ring. I'm the current boss, Caesar. Billy should have already told you do. why we invited you. Well, okay, I guess I won. The Sons of Caledon need a favor from you. As for Pearlman, his airship crashed here in the Outer Ring during landing. He's lucky to be alive, but he's badly injured and hasn't woken up yet. Pearlman's in your hands? Wait, you mean you have Pearlman? Yeah. Wait, didn't Lucy tell you? Don't no. worry. We'll make sure he heals up. And once he's awake, we'll hand him over to you. Good. Uh, wait, Caesar, are you stupid? Negotiations haven't even started, and you already handed over such an important bargaining chip? Negotiations? Bargaining chip? Lucy, again with the pettiness. This kind of manipulation and leveraging? Uh-uh. That's not very overlordy. Easy for you to say. I worked my butt off to keep this info under wraps just for today. If we can't strike a deal with Faithen, where do you expect me to find a reliable proxy for the Tor de Inferno? The Tor de Inferno is our business. I never planned to count on anyone else. Don't worry, proxy. You coming to the outer ring is a sign of respect. Even if you don't agree to help us, I won't go back on my word about Pearlman. 
Caesar, we appreciate your kindness. But as they say, no work, no reward. Bell is like... Bell is right. Actually, we only came today hoping to get a bit of information on Pearlman. We could never have expected what you're offering. Since you've been so honest with us, we'll do everything we can to help you. <laughs> Straight to the point! I like it! Can you relax a little now, Lucy? Thanks, Faithen. Your willingness to help will be huge for us. Hmm. Uh, can you tell us more about the commission details? Can you give us more details about the commission? The Torrid Inferno we mentioned just now. That's what we need your help with, Proxy. This is the biggest event in the old oil field. Only the strongest squads of bikers can compete. It's a test in the hollows to find out who's the best. Caesar, there's no way they'll get it when you put it like that. <sighs> Let me explain. Simply put, the Tour de Inferno is an off-road motorbike race that crosses through a hollow. Only two teams compete, and the rules are simple. The first team to cross the hollow, reach the finish point at Cinderglow Lake, and throw a spark stone into the lake, wins. Hmm. Oh, such a dangerous ass game. I never knew you held such dangerous races here in the outer ring. Proxy, holding the Tour de Inferno isn't just for the thrill of it. It's also a way to regularly ensure the safety of our oil resources in the form of a race. After all, oil is the lifeblood of the old oil field. Naturally, for us biker gangs, the Tour de Inferno also serves another purpose. The winner of the race becomes Overlord of the Old Oil Field Motor League. That's right, Faithen. The Overlord is recognized as the top dog of the Motor League. The current Overlord's faction is called the Vanquishers. And their boss held the title for years. Oh, I've been itching to challenge him for a while now. Hmm. It's all about honor, eh? So, the sons of Calidon are all about honor. <laughs> Proxy, the only one who'd give you that kind of answer is this simpleton right here. People are gunning for the Overlord spot for more than just becoming the top dog. We're not some school kids hooked on fighting manga. The future of the oil industry in the old oil field relies on the support of the Motor League, in every sense of the word. And as the leader of the Motor League, the Overlord is in charge of assigning transport routes. That means they hold real, tangible power. For the past six months, the Vanquishers have only given us the worst routes. <sighs> They're definitely messing with us behind our backs. But when I went to confront them, that smug second-in-command Lucius just said, the Overlord isn't in the old oil field right now, and the routes are decided at random. Hmm. Speaking of the Overlord, he hasn't been seen for half a year. Who knows what he's been doing? But Lucy, what are you afraid of? Even if the routes aren't great, with our skills, it's nothing we can't handle. Besides, you're just mad because there's nowhere to buy makeup and snacks on these routes. <laughs> Shut up, Caesar! Didn't we agree you wouldn't criticize me in front of guests? Wow, she is trying to look like a hoy. Huh. You call that criticism? It's the truth! And you're the one who's always calling me an idiot! You think I don't have any self-respect? <laughs> you ruin one's plans each time you open your mouth and expect me to praise you? Yeah, yeah. Lady Lucy Montefio, I ruined your plans. Huh. Are you forgetting who's the one who was so excited about meeting the legendary proxies that she couldn't sleep all night? Uh, enough, Caesar! I challenge you to a duel! Today's the day for the Sons of Caledon to change hands! <laughs> Bring it on! Then we'll see who's scared. Lida! Come here and be the judge! Are they going to be okay? Are they going to be okay? Oh, it's fine, Proxy. Don't worry. This is a two or three times a day kind of thing. Yeah, it's no big deal. Just don't get roped into being the referee, or you might end up on the wrong side of both of them. Point for you, bunnies. Anyway, Proxy. I'm saving it's the getter. great to have your help with the Tour de Inferno. Let's give it our best shot. I'll still use Kaladi kind of time. You know, I get. Uh, bunny or not? It's getting late, Proxy. Why don't you chop out here tonight? The guest room here is closed, but still sleep here as it's not far from town. So, about Pearlman. Oh, you mean that fat ass Faithy White? Just like Sister said, his airship crashed into the and we found him. We were about to hand him over to Proxy for a reward, but before he passed out, he kept saying, like, Someone please, someone else is behind this, and I got proof, so we kept him. 
as we suspected. I want to know something. Oh, you expect to tell you that yes, no, so I'll be able to tell you. Good to know. Relax. Or you be know that he's with us. And we slash in this case for the treat. What about Caesar and Lucy? Well, they're gonna be fine for a bit longer, I'm afraid. But don't worry about it. They usually do get out for a way, so don't feel this busy. I hope the patch needs up soon. Yeah, definitely I'm making up in the flash, even could have been circling the engine even gas. Alright, let's save the kitchen for tomorrow and catch some Z's today. You must be beat. Young guns must be again enough sleep to go up healthy. How long they took a sound of calculus generate after after and stay overnight in Blizzard the next morning? Okay. So we are on lake. Damn, look at the city we lived here? I mean they live here. Damn, another area to explore. I see some chests around! I was worried about something so new and now it's more awake. I just feel much better after a good night's sleep. I wonder if Lil's awake. I'll talk to her about how the sound of the puzzle is here in the outer wing. Huh? What 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 do you mean about that? Um Okay, let me touch some of those. What about here? <gasps> I could explode this What? What? I could go inside? Oh <laughs> Okay. But how can we do that if we want to work here? I'm looking around real quick to see if there's any chests. Well, I'm calling them chests for now. I don't have to call them boxes. Okay. Damn, so if you see around this area. I'm checking the fire somewhere. <gasps> Found another one. Grab. Find some extra pieces. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Nothing up here. Okay, never mind. I'm just checking around here, guys, for chests, maybe. Can go around this way. Okay, the Caesar and I saw another here somewhere. Nope, not really. I'll be in a second, Billy. I'm just checking around. No mind, let's just explore. Anyways, hey, good morning, Billy and Caesar. Morning. Did you sleep well? You were exhausted yesterday, right? As soon as your head hit the pillow, you were out like a light. Billy. Uh, where's Belle? Billy, where's Belle? I haven't seen her. Oh, I just took him back to your store. The other manager and Caesar decided that they're gonna move some of the equipment into your car and set up a mobile proxy workshop. Move the HDD here? You mean moving the HDD equipment out here? Right! The other manager said working in the city would make communication difficult. Plus, smart devices are few and far between in the outer ring. And long-range data transmission could slow us down. Oh, morning, proxy! You're awake. Billy's right. You'll be more efficient working from here in the outer ring. Don't worry. We'll take care of the power and network connection. Even in the outer ring, you'll be, uh... Walking on thin ice! <laughs> Is that even funny? Does she mean to say like a fish in water? She probably meant like a fish to water. By the I way, guess. before the equipment arrives, let me take you to Blazewood and introduce you to the townsfolk. Lucy said you might not be used to roughing it with us. So I got the mayor to prepare a place for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have. Ah, it's no problem. After we get back from town, go talk to Lucy and the others. I heard from your sister that you need to collect some hollow data before the race. Lucy and the gang are also preparing for the Tour d'Inferno. You should be able to help each other out. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, so we're going... Yeah, looks like we are. So we're just heading down... Elevator? You're level boo? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, your ears is broken down. Oh, do you for you? Yeah, I do. Hold on, I said, let me check for some chests around before I move forward. I'm checking, checking, nothing up here, coming back down. Uh, what else would we'll have a check? Oh, there's one over here. Excuse me, I'm just collecting some chests in the mine. How did I afford this? I mean, they probably could, but the one internet connection wise over here is probably the best deal. Alright, talk to you. Casa! I brought the proxy to say hi. Oh, Caesar. So this is the proxy from the city? Guess folks from New Eridu start working young, just like us. Caesar, who is this young lady? Caesar, who is this young lady? Young lady? <laughs> you city folks talk funny. I'm Casa, the mayor of Blazewood. The sons of Caledon have taken good care of our town. So if you need anything, just let me know. You can stay in the house behind me tonight. Sorry, it's still got some stuff that hasn't been moved out, but I'll get someone to clean it up. Hey, Casa! 
I noticed a lot of people in town making these woven items. We don't have a choice. The pipeline to town still isn't fixed. Without a gas station, all we can do is make handicrafts to earn a living. Luckily, we got a big order recently. And with the Tour d'Inferno coming up, the Sunflints are selling like hotcakes. Sunflints? What's a Sunflint? Oh, it's a kind of handicraft woven from straw. During the Tour d'Inferno, almost every house in the old oil field hangs them up. Okay. A craft made from grass in the blizzard from the resident of the old oil field district is also an important decoration for the Tour de Infernals. The center of the wing bells in the image is like holds some significance. Um, the pattern looks like an upside down person. This pattern looks like an upside down person. Wow, Proxy! You're pretty smart! The upside down figure is the first overlord of the Motor League. The elders in the outer ring also say this design is the face of the god of sun and fire, guiding the hero to ignite Cinder Lake and return safely from the hollow. There must be a story behind this special pattern. Such a unique pattern must have a story behind it, right? Yup! Actually, this pattern represents the legend of the first overlords toward Inferno. Though the old oil field can still produce oil, did you know the core oil field was swallowed up by a hollow decades ago? Isn't oil susceptible to ether corruption? Wait, isn't oil susceptible to ether corruption? Mm hmm After the disaster, etheric matter seeped through the underground facilities and oil pumps, ruining the shallow oil reserves. But luckily, the collapse of the only deep drilling facility formed a unique natural gas vent. The burning gas kept the etheric matter from spreading further down. So the natural gas vent is Cinder Glow Lake? So the natural gas vent is Cinder Glow Lake? The appearance of Cinder Lake saved everyone's livelihoods in the old oil field. But even with Cinder Lake, we can't rest easy. Natural gas and etheric matter burning together can easily turn into ether crystals building up around the lake. If left unchecked, more and more crystals will build up and eventually block the vent, extinguishing the lake. If that happens, the underground oil will be doomed. There was a time when Cinder Lake nearly went out. In order to save it, a young man and his friends risked their lives to enter the hollow and blast open an ether crystal using a special spark stone. Just like the one in my hand. Oh, the pool of material of the Tall Deer Funnels filled with a special chemical fuel. After going to the Cinder Lake, it can react with the natural gases and ether compound to digest the explosion, clearing the ether crystal nearby. Interesting. But the hollow was treacherous, and they didn't even have a carrot with them. By the time they reached Cinder Lake, it was almost completely covered with crystals. Out of desperation, the young man rode his bike into the only spot that was still burning in Cinder Lake and managed to ignite it. So, in memory of his sacrifice. So, everyone makes sunflints in memory of his sacrifice. <laughs> oh, Proxy. I never said the first overlord died there. It's normal for the Proxy to think that way. After all, everyone who went to Cinder Lake with him thought he was dead. But a day later, he miraculously emerged from the hollow alive. Folks say the god of the sun and fire was moved by his bravery, allowing him to be reborn from the flames. Since then, the residents have drawn his face and the image of him diving into Cinder Lake on their sunflints. There's even a line from a folk song that goes, Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. Hmm. Have a happy ending. Glad the story has a happy ending. <laughs> right? If it ended tragically, the Torrent Inferno wouldn't be so epic! Of course, the first Overlord did more than that. After he returned, he gathered all the biker gangs in the old oil field and formed the Motor League. He also made the rule that the Torrent Inferno would be held every few years to prevent a similar crisis at Cinder Lake. Yeah, that's why the Torrent Inferno continues to this day. It's still a feat only the strongest bikers can accomplish. But for us residents, it's become more of a festival. Interesting. Unless we lost all the time trying about the Tour the Inferno, it's an interesting topic. I'm glad you think so. I need to talk to Cassie about powering your equipment, Proxy. Why don't you head back to the gas station and meet Lucy and the others? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to meet the others. There's Lucy and Bernice. Oh my god, look at the high heels from those two. I prefer Bernice because uh, my type of woman. Anyways, hey Lucy, what do you want to talk about? And Proxy, Bernice. you made it. Proxy, didn't Caesar say you were just going to meet the mayor? What took you so long? 
we'll talk about the Tour de Inferno. We saw the Sunflints in Blazewood and heard about the legend of the Tour de Inferno. Ah, <laughs> oh, so that's why Caesar was so pumped up. After all, that's her favorite story. She even said her dream is to become a hero, just like the first Overlord. <laughs> if she really wants to be like the first Overlord, she better forget those childish fairy tales fast. Hmm. You, you're not a fan of this legend, Lucy? Lucy, you're not a fan of this legend? It's not that I dislike it, but come on, we're all grown-ups here. We should look at things realistically, don't you think? You look young unless you're 18 plus. I mean, the Torrid Inferno only happened a few decades ago. How come it's turned into this huge legend? But using an act of God to spread his story far and wide? The first overlord must have been pretty smart. Lucy, Caesar said this kind of old person talk will give you wrinkles. Nonsense! Don't listen to her lies! I use exfoliating face masks every day. No way I'll get wrinkles. <clears throat> yes, you will. Proxy, you can see it too, right? If you keep using the it. The Torrid Inferno is less about heroics and more about the first overlord securing control of the old oil field. Hmm. Uh, speaking of which, Caesar calls you Montefio? Speaking of which, How do you say yesterday that? Caesar called you Montefio. Oh. Lucy. Are you related to the prestigious new Eridu Montefio family? <laughs> prestigious? You're being a bit too generous to new money, aren't you? But yeah, we're family. You gave up city life? So you're from the city. What made you give up that life? <sighs> it's because I never wanted that kind of life where everything is already laid out for you. Plus, my dad only cares about profits and business. Exactly. It's different in the outer ring. Especially in the old oil field. The Motor League is all about freedom and justice. <laughs> That's what they say. But to survive, you can't forget about profits and business. Take the Sons of Caledon, for example. Employees need paychecks, vehicles need maintenance, and we need supplies that the city won't sell us. Which means we need connections and money. Proxy, I wasn't just making it up when I said the Overlord's faction is targeting us. The Sons of Caledon have had better rep than the Vanquishers these past few years. So, of course, they're jealous. But the recent bad roots we've been getting have hurt our income, and recruiting new members has been an issue. So, for the future survival of the Sons of Caledon, we have to take the Overlord's title. Uh, you got things figured out. You've got everything figured out. <laughs> I knew someone as sharp as Faithen would get it. Brute strength and passion alone won't get you far. Just watch. It won't be long before I beat Caesar and take the sons of Caledon from her. Lucy, you wouldn't admit it earlier, but it turns out you lost last night. N no, I didn't lose. It was just a momentary truce. After I all, the fight. prepping for the Turd Inferno is what's most important now. I can put becoming the boss on the back burner. Proxy, let's talk business. The other Faithen mentioned this morning that the lack of hollow data in the Outer Ring is affecting your ability to perform in the Hollows. So for now, we'll be going into the Hollows with you to gather data. Oh, I also need your help with something. The vehicles for the Tour de Inferno need some modifications. We need to get a hold of the necessary parts. At the same moment? Wise, I'm back. Good job, Belle. Good job, Belle. Come on, I'll help you set up the HDD. No need. I just tested the voltage and network speed here. The HDD is working fine. Fairy and Eos are pretty excited to be in the outer ring. But it's a new environment, so it'll take some getting used to. Hmm, let's gain some experience first. To help Caesar and the others win the race, let's start by gaining a bit of experience. All right, Wise. If you're ready, let's get going. And by just walking around, now you got two things to do in the hollow. Collect a lot of hollow data and buy vegan parts. Caesar and Eoku said it doesn't matter which one we're looking attacking for, so I just need to call free to you, Wise. Let's give you one you're all set. If you're curious about the condition of the sun will killer, talk to Bernice, Lila, and Piper. Uh, okay, I'm ready to go though. This is do right now. It's actually back here, alright? That would be in the building. I mean, okay, why not? I'm just gonna be in Jane Hill because why not? Bikes. Oh, how we are. Is this like a Mario Kart we're dealing with? And who is that up there? The sons of Caledon are here, as expected. Let's move. Stick to the plan. Is that a monkey? 
<laughs> oh lord! We gotta wash him out. Not a lot after someone inside the hollow. Hey, hey! Wise and everyone from the Sons of Caledon, can you hear me? Our mission is to collect hollow data. Wise, you know what to do, right? Uh, place data piles in safe areas. Got it. Find the safe areas and put enough data piles down. Don't worry, Proxy. Unlike Billy, we won't let the Ethereals chase you around. What do you call Billy brother? Can I ask a question? Lighter always calls Billy brother. Is there a reason for that? Oh, that's because every biker gang in the old oil field has champions. Lighter and Billy are our champions. The first overlord established that any gang joining the league must act with honor. Normally, the overlord mediates disputes. But if he's not around or an agreement can't be reached, they settle it with a duel. That's where the champions come in. <laughs> the boss is right. Champions bear the honor or humiliation of the entire gang. However, considering the oh, boss's he was strength, talking. she really doesn't need protecting. What did Big Daddy say again? Why are ah, you calling a that? Ruler doesn't need to be the strongest or the smartest. Just someone who can unite the masses. But that in the sons right. of Caledon, I just so happen to be the best fighter. <laughs> How can you say that? Lighter doesn't have enough to do, and it's all because you can't control your temper and get into fights yourself! <sighs> I even had to find other tasks for him to do. <laughs> Proxy, to be honest, for the longest time, I thought Lighter was here just to do odd jobs. Well, Lucy sure knows how to get the most out of the money she spent. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at walking slay and looking at us with those pretty eyes. Okay, let's go. Master, you have reached the data collection area. Data pile one initializing. Great. Just up ahead. Oh, I feel like guys. Huh. Oh, a difference. Huh. A little different. That's only because we're in the outer wing area. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 I got Jane here. You touched your babies? Yeah. These enemies? Lucy, your murderer. You're killing your kids. Oh, they fight too. That's cute. I'm a little angry buds with the pigs. Ew, tentacles. <laughs> I was tempted to have Lucy back with my team, but nah, I think we're a little fast like Delta. S wing counter, I'm at that. Baseball. Go, Jane! Let's go! Who next? Who next, huh? Who next? Activation complete. Hold on, let me grab Next this. installation location has been marked. Lucky it's not too far. Oh, what the hell? Cool. Grab that data uh -huh. pile and let's move. Right away, your highness. It's the princess of the Southern Paladin. Huh. Ooh, vow, bitch. Uh -huh. Okay, these boxes. Huh? Yeah. Be here for a reason? I mean, okay. Data pile 2 initializing. Oh, what is close? Yeah. Who next? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, Activation cool. complete. We just need to install one more and it's done. The perfect installation location has been selected for you. It'll be a lot more perfect if it were closer to us. Yeah. Hey, who's coming out? Hey, guess what? That's your ult. Damn, that's like, like a nuke just launched. Ouch. That is hit the- you hit a pussy. Was, was trying to look sexy for the boys to notice me. Dragon ships? No. Okay, let's go. Oh my go Jane. Oh my god, that's insane. Alright. Uh, oh my god, let me do that. No spin me! Oh my god, material, I recognize that one from these uh, domains to get materials. The build? I always wanted to see those type of materials too. Now we do. I'll make it pain. Good so work. Oh, tough. Activation complete. Complete? Nice. On to the next. I thought we're done. Are we done? Oh, let's 
going on? All the dogs here. They're trying to hijack our shit. Warning. Bio signals detected near data pile two. Uh oh. Let's go, Bell. So was hijacking. What? They actually killed it? The day point server has gone. There's a boss in here longer, and the center of the ground shown with the pillar was ripped out by force. This is some story. They killed his gun that followed that day, but so what's the going to some clues? Some clues? It's not the closest one. Um, there's a bell in here before. It looks like someone was held right before it. Do it. What's been data power thieves? Is this a hidden fissure? Oh, Bill. I can start a Jane Doe if I want to. Her ass is jiggly. Ooh. Hello. Bill. Biosignals detected nearby. Got it. Hurry up! There they are! Motherfucker! I see you! Is that a pool? Lighter! Oh, Lighter! Do you know those people? Don't think so. But judging by their get-ups, they are in a biker gang too. That's so nice. Yep. Yeah. Cut! Okay. Break it. Beat it! Die on the dead! Amazing! How do you do that? Uh, look at the children just playing the pool. Oh. Oh look at them! Oh, they're falling by me. Like I'm your mommy now. Listen to your mommy's orders. Don't give me that holy look. Look. Okay, let's move over there. Hey, you fuckers! The swing. Hold it right there! I've caught you red-handed, you bunch of filthy thieves! Hey, little girl, watch your mouth. Who you calling a thief? <laughs> You, obviously. The data piles you're holding are the property of the Sons of Caledon. We put them there ourselves. Which biker gang are you running with? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Who we are is none of your business. You say these are yours, but can you prove it? Of course. These data piles come with receipts. All I'll have to do is just compare them with the registration numbers. <laughs> You're that Lucy something something from the city, aren't you? Yeah, we've heard about the loudmouth strategist of the Sons of Caledon. It's clear you certainly know how to talk a big game, but we're not buying it. Look at these piles. There's no number on them at all. Huh? The numbers on the data piles are gone? You see, these data piles were just abandoned in the hollow. Unclaimed equipment. According to the League's rules, it's finders keepers. <laughs> to think the sons of Caledon would try to snatch our stuff using such a feeble lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> At first I thought you were just small-time crooks, but you've clearly come prepared. Psst, Lucy, what are you talking about? To grind off numbers engraved on a metal surface in such a short time, you'd need a specialized grinder. Since they've even gone to the lengths of preparing that kind of equipment, they must have planned for this well in advance. Ah, I see. Since Lucy doesn't want me meddling, I'll leave this to you, Lighter. Got it, boss. Looks like it's my time to shine. Please. Listen up. Can I, I may him? not know the reason, but it looks like you're looking for a duel. <laughs> Yeah, since we're all bikers, this is the only fair way to solve a conflict. Lighter, they say you haven't lost a single duel since becoming a champion of the Sons of Caledon. It's time to remind you of the humiliation of defeat. <laughs> I don't think you'll be forgetting the Ember Arena anytime soon. <laughs> yes, it was tough going for you for a while, huh? <laughs> taste of pain must still be fresh in your memory. To be straight with you, our champion's from there too, but while you were twiddling your thumbs, he built up a 20-fight winning streak. Wait, it can't be. <laughs> that you're shaking in your boots, Lighter. That's right, you know just who we're talking about. Uh, sorry, What? what's his name again? <laughs> You smug jerk! It's the monkey! It's the 
You ended my 21 streak, you cocky bastard! 21 streak? Still popular and handsome! You think you can just forget my name? Wait, did he just say you're handsome twice? Bell him, huh? That's cool. I'll remember you. Oh my god, this... He's so nervous, that's so funny. Don't give me that crap! You've already said that three times! Enough talking. Our briefings today, right here, right now. Oh, here we go. Lighter. It sounds like you're now you're dead. Yeah, I killed you. Oh, I'm still alive. Now you're dead. Of course, it's true. I mean, winning isn't everything in that kind of place. Hey, Lighter. You better take this seriously. Yeah, I got some wells working against you. You're bleeding, dude. And... That monkey is the player. Nice! I lost. That one last? What should we do now? We, we were told that... Don't do anything. Leave the data piles for the sons of Caladon. I'll take responsibility for this. Okay. Okay. Understood, Bellum. Ryder, I came here to face you. Now that we fought, according to League rules, I concede defeat. I just didn't expect that after all these years. I still couldn't beat you or reclaim my honor. No, you're wrong. You never needed to reclaim any honor in the first place. I didn't mean to forget your name. It's just that everything in the underground fighting scene means nothing to me. What? Hurting an opponent for money, taking a dive for money. <laughs> that life has nothing to do with honor. Only those with no choice step into the ring. You were no different back then. You've got the skills to leave that place behind and become a biker gang's champion. Why leave your heart in that dark, cramped hellhole? Murder, <laughs> you... You mean... Be grateful for the outer ring. It doesn't care about your past or where you come from. If you've got the skills, you rewrite your fate. If you just want to test your mettle against me, say the word. I'm down any time. After all... I've got a rifle that I've been itching to challenge for a while now. I... I will. Lighter. Um... Thank you. No problem, Bal... Bal... Ba uh, Lighter! You never intended on remembering my name. You're just messing with me again! Wait, aside from the name thing, I meant everything I said! It doesn't make me feel any better! Oh boy, one more quest to go. Not, after, not long after, someone needed was hit a plant inside a hollow. The place that refits old vehicle parts is just past the hollow entrance. We'll be there soon. Oh, actually, I've got a question. I heard from Wise that the factory in the hollow sells parts after they've been sorted. If that's the case, why not just buy them outside the hollow? It's simple, really. With so many bikers in the old oil field, the leftover parts that do end up reaching the market are the ones that no one wants. Exactly. It's like if you want top quality fresh fish. Someone has to set out to sea early in the morning and use an airship to get the ingredients back to the kitchen. This ridiculous set of honor. You're overcomplicating things. But what do you expect from a Montefio? Proxy, it's way easier for us to come into the hollow to buy stuff compared to the hassle city folks go through just to have a meal. Oh, I can oh, oh, I get to be her. Oh, she's not playable yet. But hold special attack to to actually special attack. It's a same method. If there's enough energy, hold special attack again to activate SP special attack. It tests he's still method. Double shot a special attack. It tests he's still method. Double shot doing great fire dash. It creates fire carry build faster. When bunnies consume energy, she will quickly heat. Upon reaching 50 points, bunnies will enter a nuclear fuel cocktail state. While in nuclear fuel cocktail state, holding base attack consumes human nuclear base attack. Mixed flame blends when bunnies hit enemies with her base attack. Mixed flame blend EX special attack, chain attack, or ultimate. She inflicts the source, source, source effect. 
When other Squish members hit enemies in the source of estate, the afterburn effect is triggered, consume heat to deal fire damage to the highly clearly fire armory builder. Ethereal. Oh my god, watch out. Sweet! How do you attack them? I'll take care of them. Ooh, that's the really right. interesting. Burn <laughs> them! Woohoo! Oh, wow, that's interesting. You can really burn them up! Damn! Burn them! Damn! That's awesome. Oh my god, look at them heels down! Yeah. We're in the factory to keep oh. ethereal out. We're really dangerous. Don't touch them! Hard to say which one is more dangerous. Traps or this? Hold on, I see some shadow. Okay, we got this. She's fine. She's fine. Ooh, there's some stuff in here. Let's get money. Oh! Hold on. This isn't the way to the factory. Bud. Since we're already here, we need to stumble across and leave. Yeah, I know. Okay, my turn. Are these the goodies you're talking about? We toss flames. I toss flames. Back at you. Oh. Oh. That's the same. Let's go. What's your ult? Hey, bouncy too. Damn, that's some flames up here, your ass. Okay, you got it right. Oh, you redefine dumb luck. I'm just missing for a second. Wait, hold on. Why is there a thing for fail? Yeah. Oh, we're going in circles, never mind. Damn, how is she up with her heels without falling over? Anyways, I'm gonna keep going forward. Ouch, ouch, ouch! She's fine! Oh, just watch. I'm uh, gonna burn him to the ground! Uh, we're fine, right? Incoming! There's a lot of ethereals around here. We're fine. Just see it as us helping the boss of the recycling plant clean up a bit. Damn, you see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Damn, Bernice, you're crazy. Yeah. Run, 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 everyone! <laughs> when she comes out, I would love to pull for her. Okay, just need to be nice here. Okay, that's what Shaw is, not Panties. Shut up, people. Ooh. The parts recycling plant is just up ahead! Yes, you are. Reminder, the ether concentration here is quite low, and spatial stability is normal. No wonder they can still do business here. Can I walk? Damn, those are 4 inches. They look exactly 4 inches, damn! Anyways. Greetings. By the look of your gear, I take it you're from the Motor League? Hey, old timer! We're looking for some bike parts. So, you're here for parts two, huh? Unfortunately, we're out of stock until the Torrid Inferno is over. Say what? What the heck's going on? Some youngsters came by this morning and bought up all of my stock. Huh? I warned them that buying up everything would make things difficult for my other customers, but the Thyron girl leading them seemed awful fiery, and well, they paid well above market price. Oh. She said she's from the Sons of Caledon and that they were prepping for the big challenge since they finally got a spot to compete. They're lying. Wait, do we have any Thyrens? Grassy, Woody, and Bricky aren't girls, right? No. Oh, Bernice, the heart of the matter is that someone impersonated us and bought everything here. Wait, what did you say? Ugh, we're the real Sons of Caledon. We have no idea who those other people are! Oh, damn. Not only did they keep us from getting parts, they also tarnished our reputation! They played their hand well. Well, actually, the whole thing just feels wrong to me. If you can persuade her to change her mind, I won't object. Just, uh, don't mention it was me who told you. Where did those people go, old man? Oh, after they bought everything here, they headed straight to the abandoned vehicle graveyard deeper in the hollow when they heard there were more parts there. Hmm. We still have a chance to intercept them. It looks like we've still got a chance to catch them. Mm -hmm. Let's get going, Proxy! Oh boy, time to run. I need to go to the vehicle graveyard to get my bike back. Can we make it in time? Slow Don't down. worry. 
Bell asked Piper to bring the vehicles here. She's, well, she's this way. Us. There's a spatial fissure nearby. You're clicking, damn! We're getting busted. We'll be okay, able we'll to heal. rendezvous with her soon. Woo! Oh, traps! Oh, God! Okay. Rendezvous point is in the highway. We're almost there. Master, please be aware. Explosive items detected in the vicinity. Double fire power. Bernice has activated reckless charge mode. Reckless charge mode. Who's that? What terrible taste! AI. Someone who uses Golden Damsel in distress as their intronaut username has no right to question my taste. Uh, 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 you gotta this one won't be easy. Watch out. Yeah, we're good, we're good. You see? I can take him! Let's burn them together! That was big! I could put it in the ether than I see from the maze. Let me help! Caesar got it. We got it. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. Just in this right. I was already here. I can finally get my butt. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, Piper, you got you. Wow, Piper, you brought the vehicles. They look like sisters, unless they're just friends or cousins. I've seen the proxy's call. Little old me wouldn't keep you waiting for a minute longer. Your rides are here for you. Let's get a roll. It. Thanks, little old you. Guys, let's ride. Ooh, as soon as he's finished speaking, Bernice will be give yourself a vice and vice off. Slow down, Bernice! You're going too fast! It's time to find out who's the fastest! We might be able to get ahead of them! Oh boy. Ooh-wee! You youngin' sure got some fire in your belly. Proxy, get on! Let's head out! You so old! Um, I'm not gonna be one about that. Moments later, near the vehicle with graveyard. Well, it's crazy and fast. We're the first to get here. Um, Lucy? I mean, bunnies? <gasps> Girl! What are you doing? I was thinking, since we have the upper hand, we might as well call it a day. But seeing you like this really brings out my predatory instincts. Bernice, what are you thinking? So warm. <laughs> are you crazy? Yeah, that bitch is crazy. I love huh? her for that. Don't all kitties love being warm and toasty? Aw, oh, I love her for that. Uh, Bernice, are you okay? She's fine. Oh, We're finding some Bowie. That oh, people smash. She's a Move to someone's tail if you don't know them. Oh, yeah! The first thing you need to be a scratch under the chin, right? Um, I guess. Don't patronize me. Oh, can't you do cute when you're angry? Aw, oh, she says angry. I'll say things too. Oh, How come this monster is so strong? Yeah, but yeah, look at you. Uh, my name. Hello. There you go. Swinging. Six the sky. Nice. Okay, okay, that's enough. I give up. What? You give up? 
Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? Oh, but... But we were having so much fun just now! Uh, what? Kitty, you're really good. I've never seen a Thyron as skilled and cute as you before. Cute? Wait, what are you talking about? I mean it. And it looks like the legends are true. Cat Thyrons aren't loyal to their master. <laughs> oh, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. And about my employer. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice! This isn't your decision to make! <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty, if you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat fire. Don't worry, I've heard that Kitty's choose to partner up with only the strongest. The Sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty. I do have a name. It's Polkra. Okay, Polkra. Let's play again next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength? I think I'll pass. But I am partial to warm places. Okay, little night at the dinner. Uh, so full, it would be so good after the hard work's day. Pepper's cooking is very amazing. Whether it's mystery meat burrito or mystery meat school, I can't get enough. I think I just saw it's, it's a place or something in there. Holding pack meals are the best price, plus it gives us a taste of our own life. Like, hmm, it feels me. It matches perhaps? Um, who's talking to me? Wait then, it's me, Lucy. Hi, Lucy! Wait, I have to talk to you. I would do hunt behind the gas station. Oh yeah, come on, don't let anyone else find out. Um, okay, I'll come behind. Bell, you stay right there. Just right here. Are you serious, Lucy? What you want, girl? Proxy, sorry to call you here so late. I'll cut to the chase. I have an extra commission for you, and I need you to keep it secret. Um, uh, can you explain more? Can you explain more? You must have noticed. Lately, every time we go into the hollows, we're met with one obstacle after another. Ugh, it's clear someone has it out for us. I did a background check on Bellum and Polkra. There's no public info linking them to any biker gang, but I bet they've got something to do with the Vanquishers. Hmm. Uh, I feel the same. I feel the same. After all, the Tour de Inferno is a duel between your factions. Also, knowing Lucius, there's no way he's not involved. But we don't have solid proof, so we can't do anything about it. Proxy, I expected some tricks from our rivals, but something's off. Their intel is always right on the money. If they didn't know about our plans ahead of time, how could they keep getting the jump on us? Someone in town must be feeding intel to the Vanquishers. Hmm. Do you have any suspects? Do you have any suspects in mind? Not yet. Blazewood mostly backs us to win. So I need to investigate. I'll look into it. I might need your help further down the line, though. Hmm. Don't worry, Faithen will take the commission. Don't worry, Faithen will take the commission. Thanks. Oh, and just a reminder: don't tell the others, especially Bernice and Caesar. What a Bernice! Bernice can't keep a secret, and as for Caesar, well, never mind. Hmm. You care a lot about Caesar, don't you? You really care about Caesar, don't you? <laughs> No way! Hm. I have intel Caesar doesn't know, which means I have the upper hand. That's all. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait for my word. Bye! Um, see ya. What is it, Proxy? Is there anything you'd like to know? About Lucian. 
What is in the hello, Masin? Hey, Lucy loves making others do dirty work. Hi, Masin, and keeping his head all clean. He been using these tricks ever since he became the orphan boy's white hand. If you don't put him before, you know what I mean. To be honest, I have feeling he's involved in that guessing when I first came to his other wing. This other doesn't seem suspicious. I look into it. Now the model of legal trucks took that road that day. Was an attack aimed at us? We decided to hire a person before listening the business so the infusion couldn't have leaked, but Lucy probably got the details from the motor league record of trucks entering the Urdu. I think he aimed to cause supply losses or even cash flow from us, so we can get dragged into this mess. It probably is never sure risk. It's getting light, I'm out. Get some rest, Foxy. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I thought maybe over there, I guess you went down. Leave me down, level boo. It's an innocent at all. Look at you, I will pet you while you're doing it. Are we staying over there? That's what it looks like. Anyways, hey Belle, um, I got something to tell you. If let's talk to you. There you go. Yeah, back guys. What did Lizzie say? Tell Belle what happened. I see Lizzie got very concerned. Compared to Lizzie's no enemy, except from the way that is more concerning. Lizzie even might take a while, but since we're free for now, let's get back and do our thing. Yep, sounds good. It's getting late, guys. Time to go to bed. How do you sleep in this environment? Oh, we just go inside. Room doy. We need to relax now. Uh, let's take a break now. Get to the room and lay down the bed that's not in the most comfortable, but smells fresh and clean. The loses the rooms on your mind and it's for how you jump off to sleep. The night is for you guys and move day down to our wing. Okay. Uh, it's morning. Help me out, level boo. Morning, Belle and Bernice. Love your heels, by the way. Look at them heels. Damn. Anyways, hey, Belle. Okay. There you go, guys. What's up? Top of this request. Oh, you know, I'm gonna stop with Dale. Oh, well, I'm gonna Dale. Last subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.